Strategist, Democratic strategist Steve McMahon and Republican strategist Todd Harris. Let me ask you about this. Uh, well, let's take a look at how Harry Reid's had to deal with this. I think this tells you a lot. Here's Senator Reid, the Senate leader, was on Meet the Press, and then later on catch the second bite where he's talking yesterday. There's a difference. There is a cloud over Blagojevich, and at this stage, a cloud over the state of Illinois. They don't have a vote, and if, uh, as long as Blagojevich has done the appointing, it's really a tainted appointment. We know that the state of Illinois is entitled to representation. But until we remove the cloud from this Lagojevich nomination, we cannot move forward. And I think it's a pretty easy hurdle to get over. Well, there it was. Is there a change? Well, obviously there's a change. I mean, the remarkable thing here is that they had a news conference early on when they made the appointment. Bobby Rush immediately plays the race card. If it had been any other appointee, the question wouldn't have been whether he gets confirmed or not or seated or not. It would have been an obvious answer, no. He's appointed in a dictated process. He doesn't get to sit in the United States Senate. Because he was an African American, it made it difficult for Harry Reid. And I think what you're seeing now is the fact that that uh, you're seeing that play out. It's difficult to say no to the only African-American so who might think, be seated I'm in the United States I'm not sure about Senate. you that. What do you think, Todd? No, I, I totally agree with that. I think to put all this in context, people, a lot of people aren't aware of this, although more are finding out. Roland Burris is a guy who has erected his own mausoleum, a tribute to himself, in a cemetery in Chicago where he calls himself that's a picture of it. There, there it is he calls himself a trailblazer that's for a being, modest that's for a modest tombstone a, a small kind of a, 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 a trailblazer for being don't you a, have one of those the, come on Todd the, you got the one first african-american well, elected attorney being. general but my point is this there are clearly two things that are important to roland burris roland burris and race and those two things are what combined to put Harry Reid into the bind that he's in. Harry Reid has completely reversed what himself. What about the law here? It seems to me that, uh, that the appointment was made by a governor, which is required, and apparently is all that's required to get somebody to the United States Senate to fill a vacancy. Well, it's not all that's required. The Secretary of State has to certify it. And, of course, the United States Senate... He doesn't have to. It's recommended that he do Okay, so. and the United States Senate has to seat the person right. or recognize the victory or the, the legitimacy of that person. Harry Reid very early on said this is a, the product of a tainted process and not unlike the product of a tainted search if you're a police officer the the, the fruit of poisonous labors get gets excluded and this is a case where if this man was trying to do a pay, pay to play and if every other but there's no evidence that he was no, not, not Roland Burris, I'm sorry. If the governor was doing yeah, a pain to play... Yeah, there's no evidence which, Burris did anything wrong. No, there's no evidence that Burris did okay. anything wrong, but the process is tainted, and the person who appointed him is tainted, and therefore, it's probably... The, the taint gets into the Democratic caucus if you seat him. But for the fact he, that he's an African-American, he absolutely would not be seated. It, you believe like that? Yeah, this was a race test. Absolutely. I mean, the 50 members, 50 Democratic senators signed a letter saying that no matter who Blagojevich appoints, we're not going to seat him. All of a sudden, he appoints Roland Burris. Harry Reid completely okay. changes his position. You say he, all these senators was a tool changing their position. Of his entry. That he used race to get in the door and he shouldn't have been able to do it. Had he gone another route, had he not shown up with, under those umbrellas standing out in front of the Capitol lawn there, had he not pursued this aggressively, would he have gotten through? No. Was, would he have been able to roll, if you will? And, and had he been a white man, he wouldn't have gotten through. Listen, this wasn't something that Roland Burris did. I don't blame Roland Burris at all. Roland Burris stood there and said, you know what, if he wants to make me a United States senator, there's a pretty good chance I can get there. Roland Burris was right. Blagojevich was clever. And the Democrats the United States Senate didn't do what they said they were going to do. They're going to, see, they're going to probably now seat somebody who is the product of a tainted process. Roland Burris has made his entire career in elected office about race, and as evidenced by that mausoleum he wants to make his entire afterlife. It, his enti it, no, it does. It does. This is a guy whose entire self-tribute to himself is all about okay, race. Okay, let me, let me try to get back to the, the Democrats here. Was there any way out for Senator Reid and Dick Durbin, the top leaders, if they had said, come on in, no problem, they would have looked like hacks? They could not have done that. If they, they had done that, they would have looked like hacks. They couldn't have done that. In fact, I, I actually think... In other words, they had no way out. They had no way out. No, they That's did. Exactly they, they, right. What Dick, was their way out? Dick Durbin's original recommendation, which was put this 
to the vote of the people of Illinois. Have a special election and let's. And why didn't the Dems go with that? That's not their because way they out. were afraid that a Republican would pick up the seat. By the way, by the way, I, I hate is, to, I, true, I hate to agree with you, but he's right. Is he right? The Democrats were it's, afraid it's of a special election. It's difficult for an African American candidate in a statewide race to win election, even today, even after Barack Obama. So that you it would have been would difficult. Be an African American candidate in the Democratic side if there was an election. Well, I think that there was a there was a desire on the part of the Democratic Caucus, rightly so. There was a desire on the part of the Obamas the to African have an African American right. Exactly. Okay, tonight, unusual. I disagree with both of you. I think <laughs> Burris is going in clean. I think the appointment was made profoundly formally legally it was a legal appointment by a guy who has not been impeached had not been indicted it was clean he did it and okay. it worked and this guy's going to be the senator from illinois for the next couple of years the, the fact Chris, that he accepted Chris. this appointment shows to me that he doesn't have the judgment to sit he should have done what congressman danny davis did and say no to that right. appointment well you know what his title's going to be now? Senator. Right. Thank That's you, right. Senator McMahon. I mean, Steve McMahon. <laughs> I expect, Mika, that uh, the full House will, in fact, vote to impeach Governor Blagojevich by the end of the day. Uh, whether or not it's unanimous, of course, uh, still remains to be seen. It was unanimous coming out of that special investigative panel looking into whether impeach. Uh, whether to impeach the governor. Some people do expect it to be unanimous in the House as well. The governor has called yesterday's proceedings a farce, saying that they were flawed and that they were biased, saying it was a foregone conclusion. This could all be wrapped up by about 2 o'clock today, we expect. That, of course, then would set the stage for a full trial of Bogoyevich in the Senate. That trial is expected to take place sometime after the inauguration, probably the last week of January or the first week of February. And according to the lieutenant governor, it could all be wrapped up by Valentine's Day. So this is all going to move very quickly now. Oh, well, that's good. But let me ask you this. What is, does that have any impact, Lee, on Roland Burris? He moves on and, and clean away from this? It, it appears so. Uh, his appearance yesterday was uh, relatively brief, only about an hour. He asked her, answered a, a host of questions, and most of the members seemed to be pretty satisfied with the answers that he gave, that there was no quid pro quo at all, uh, that everything seemed to be on the up and up with his appointment to fill Barack Obama's Senate seat. What we're still waiting for, though, is to see what the Illinois State Supreme Court decides about what to do with the Secretary of State's signatures. As it stands now, uh, there is still a blank spot on that form in his paperwork that, according to the Senate, he needs. Now, the Senate officially, it says that they recommend, not require, but that it recommends that there be a signature of both the governor and the secretary of state on an appointment like this. So there is a, perhaps a little wiggle room there, although it certainly didn't sound like it from, uh, from some of those Democratic leaders. So we're still waiting to see whether the Supreme Court will force the secretary of state here to sign that signature. And if he does, then he's got his paperwork signed. He seems like he's got a clean bill of health uh, from the assembly here. Thomas, so it let's, look let's like start it. with our favorite senator mm -hmm. here, uh, Roland Burris. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your what was your take on Harry Reid blocking uh, Roland Burris from getting into the Senate, and then Barack Obama having to engage in that? I thought he made a mistake. Um, I, I could not understand. I'm no constitutional law professor as Barack Obama was, mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't understand what they thought the the legal authority was that yeah. they, they were going to stand on yeah. uh, not a not a leg a foot even to stand on yeah. with regard to this issue so I, I thought it was going to come back to bite them into behind just like it has i thought they were going to have to backtrack on this thing just like they have yeah. um and, and the thing for me and you're the political expert here uh, having served but if you're gonna if, if you're gonna be declarative the way they were right. mm -hmm. he ought not to be seated we would not see him oh, if wow. you're going to be declarative then yes. take this thing all the way yeah. to the end and let the courts tell you that you're right or that you're wrong but you don't you don't say yeah. we're not going to do it and it, it reminded me of john mccain saying i'm going to suspend my campaign yeah. to handle this economic right. crisis Very i'm not going to debate and then uh, and then 24 hours later he shows up I mean, take it take it all the way that's Harry Reed, Harry right Reed really messed up not not major, great leadership major, there major and I, and I think i keep hearing stuff and as we all do and you know i don't have any you know hard evidence on this but i'm fascinated because i keep hearing about these tapes. I'm fascinated to see what we're going to learn about what Harry Reid really did say. Yeah. Who really was on his list. Now, now you, who was not on his list. Are you talking about how Harry, about the, Harry Reid basically said, no, no Jesse don't Jackson, give it to black no, guys exactly. They can't win. I think, I think this, story is, this, the, the, oh. this, this story has not yet to be revealed about what oh. Harry Reid really did say, didn't say, what he wanted, what he didn't want. It's going to be fascinating. And, that is, and again, the reports are, for those that haven't read it, the reports are that Harry Reid was talking de Blago uh, and his people saying we don't want the black guys he didn't say it that way he just picked out the black guys that were on the list because he said they couldn't win uh, could that be election. why he's not taking it to the end and backing down 
I don't know. I, I, well, I, 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 I saw if that's saw the case, him. Harry Reid's in trouble. Mm. I saw him meet the press, I guess it was a week or so ago with David yeah. Gregory, uh, and he made it clear then. And David asked him very in a very point pointed, very direct, very forthright way that he couldn't do, not, not much wiggle room here. Yeah. Did you say this? Was this on your list? Well, I mean, he was very definitive then, speaking of being declarative, that he didn't do that, but it's gonna be fascinating to see what happens in the What's end. the issue? We'll see. Yeah. Uh, he's been declarative before and uh, changed the next day, 24 <laughs> hours later. He says he doesn't work for Barack Obama. Yeah. I think he does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he does work for Barack yeah. Obama. Yeah. Harry yes, Reed he does. put down the crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> if you said you don't work for Barack Obama, you know. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're all working for Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> well.